Hey guys, it's um, Jessie Lee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below and remember to like this video. So today I am going to take you to the gym with me and more importantly share three things, three reasons why I have stayed this skinny and fit. Not a lot of it has to do with just going to the gym. Um, also practice some good habits that could help actually help you maintain your weight goal or keep the weight that you have now. I'm actually in a room where, you know, the camera's not tracking everyone else. So follow me up there. So I will get on this digital scale and show you how much I weigh. Okay, right now I'm on the lighter side where I am 102 pounds. Okay, I'm usually 105 pounds, um, but it, you know, I range from 100 to 105. I never go more than 105 or go below 100. You know, like maybe on my monthly cycle, I'll be like 107, but that's because, you know, of all the symptoms that we get when we are um, having our periods. You know, what fun fact, um, your fruits feel heavier when you're on your mom or your period and um, you actually feel like you gain a little bit more weight because of the water weight that you gain during your um, period cycle so if you're a guy and you, you're watching this you have no idea or no clue what we go through well yes every month I'm gonna feel fat once and all the ladies can agree right <laughs> The number one thing you want to do to keep your weight consistent is not to stress too much and you know keep your mind positive that way it will keep your body looking youthful. I'm already burning fat and sweating as I'm saying this. Whew. Okay so I'm in the sauna right now and reason two for saying this fit and this thin for a long time is because I don't eat sweet. Um, I don't eat, I don't really like to eat sweet. Uh, when I met my, I first met my husband, he said that, you know, he doesn't like sweet. So, you know, he tried to get me to be thin or whatever. If he's saying uh, girls like shouldn't eat sweet or I don't really like sweet, so I try to relate with him and not eat sweet. So after a while, I realized that I don't like sweet because when you eat candy and you eat sweet things, it makes your teeth, you know, it's bad for your teeth and it kind of just ruin your, your, your teeth. So it's not good for your teeth and I try to stay away from sweet. I'm not addicted to eating sweet. Um, so that's how I stay fit. I stay away from sweets. And if you love sweet and you're a cake eater, try to reduce that down a little bit and just to see how dramatic your weight will go down. Like, you know, cut out all the carbs, cut out some of the, you know, cakes that you've been eating. And if you're a coffee drinker, try to, you know, drink something else that give you energy not too milky will get you gaining weight. I'm not saying go and change your diet completely, stay away from candy, stay away from sweets. I uh, just don't eat it every single day, you know. Like if you start your day with sweet cereal, start with a fruit bowl or something like that. Try to eliminate any sugar, any sweets as much as you can um, because it will show in your weight if you're trying to maintain um, a good weight. For reason three, I believe you already guessed it, that if I am going to the gym, it would be my third reason. And yes, going to the gym is very important. 
uh, keep an active lifestyle, run on the cardio or treadmill, or do some lift, lifting would be good too. Uh, for me, when I go to the gym, I would run for 10 minutes and go on the elliptical for another five. So 15 minutes of active activity. Keep your body as active as possible to maintain your weight or your weight goal. So let's get started. So for me, I would hit the green button to start. And then I will get the level up, the inclination up to 10.5. And then the speed would be up to two. Two point five, two point three, and I will walk and do this for five minutes. Okay, and then I will eventually speed up for. I will speed up to four point zero and start running for five more minutes. So that's ten minutes. So the elliptical that I told you about, I'm about to get on. After I did some walking for five minutes and cardio for five minutes, I'm now on the elliptical and I will be doing this for the next five minutes. It's actually helping my butt, my booty, and my legs, toning it up. You can see I'm breathing more heavily as I go. This is good. My workout is now done for the night. So just to recap the three reasons to how I stay this slim is one, reason one, I try not to stress over the little things and go do things that actually makes my body feel good. So in this case, I go to the gym, I get on the massage chair or go to the sauna at least twice a week, you know, to re reduce the stress of everyday life. So reason two is I uh, don't eat sweet, like I told you. I try to avoid it as much as possible. And reason three is I try to keep up with an active lifestyle, which is to go to the gym at least twice a week and do the things that I just showed you. I don't need to go and do crazy lifting, you know, but I still have a little something there. And, you know, I don't, I just, you know, did what I did. Go on the, um, go on the treadmill, walk for five minutes, do five minutes cardio, go to the elliptical, you know, tone up, do those steps in for like five more minutes. 15 minutes total of physical activity every day, including what I do at work. I'm a teacher, so I walk around a lot, you know, taking my kids from specials back, lunch back, out to recess. I mean, so I don't sit on my behind all day, which is another perks. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. I'll see you in the next video. Good night.